Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, glad to have you here. Today we have a multiplayer 3v3 for you guys. Um, and I'm playing this with one of my really good friends who just got into uh, Total War Warhammer. Um, and that is uh, Stubblefish, and he's going to be leading the Empire here. Um, we are going up against two Empire players and a Beastman player. Um, so his army consists of four great swords here, um, two steam tanks. <laughs> <laughs> which should be entertaining. Um, Karl Franz up on his Death Claw, and then um, a Jade Wizard here on his Pegasus. Um, and so there you can see going for a very Lore of Life based build, trying to keep all these very expensive units in the fight for as long as possible. Um, in the middle is Marcus Skyn, um, and we actually made a Mordheim PvP League um, together, uh, but I don't really play it very much and so he's taken over and is currently leading that so if any of you guys play um, Mordheim City of the Damned and are looking for some PvP games um, you guys, I'll put the link in the description to the Steam group um, you can go on there and just find a ton of games um, a ton of really cool guys um, who play Mordheim City of the Damned too um, and so he's bringing the green skins and so here you can see he has a really powerful front line with biggins, black orcs, and savage biggins um, behind them, a huge goblin firing line, um, and the Ragnarok Queen, a giant, and then um, Azag on Skull Muncha, which you don't see very often, and which was a very brave pick against uh, the Empire. Over here, I am bringing the Wood Elves, um, and I kind of have a main line here of three Eternal Guard with shields, two Treekin, um, I have four Glade Guards spread out, um, two War Dancers, two more Eternal Guard. And then one war dancers with Azrai spears, and of course, I have to bring Orion here. Uh, Mel Gibson, I guess. <laughs> um, he'll be casting some spells, trying to be uh, cost effective. Um, and then, of course, we have a uh, spell slinger of life to keep him and the treekin in the fight. So over here, you can see I, I am kind of supporting this empire player a little bit, and there's two night goblin squig hoppers on this flank. And so what our idea was was um, these two players would rush up the middle, rush one one of the players, um, while I tried to just block off the other two. Um, but you can see they deployed slightly to the right over here instead of over here, so it's not going to go completely uh, to plan. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're going to just charge in here because they do have the artillery um, advantage. Here you can see one of their bright wizards is shooting a fireball. That's somebody who knows. Um, some outriders over here, huge line of handgunners, um, huge line of cheap infantry here um, from this Empire player. Um, more outriders, some Hellstorm rocket batteries, um, some Hell Blaster volley guns. Great to see that unit in the game. You don't get to see these guys very often, so hopefully we'll see what they can do. Um, in the air, Balthazar Gelt. <laughs> oh boy. You can see this is definitely a casual battle here. Um, you don't really see him much in ladder, um, so we'll see how he does. Uh, you can see they do have some Demi Griff Knights with halberds. And um, who's the second general for the Empire? Balthazar Gelt. And then over here you can see Karl Franz again on Deathclaw. Um, and then covering this flank is the Beastman player, huge main line of Goreherd with shields, um, Gorbul, uh, Morgur, three Ungor raiders, some Bestigor herds, um, two units of these Minotaurs with great weapons, um, and then two units of Ungor spear with herds. Um, so definitely a pretty typical uh, Beastman army over here. Uh, and you can see the Empire with their huge firing lines, some crossbows in the back. Um, and they do have some Reg's Guard on that side that I missed. Um, you can see here, this is a pretty common mistake actually. Um, when you have this stuff, when you have infantry too close to something like this, you can see it was obstructed there for a second, um, but it, it should fire eventually. You can see steam tank stuff coming in, and then um, he got a little too close to my Glade Guard on this side, and so uh, did a number on these Outriders. I didn't want to leave those steam tanks alone by themselves which is kind of why I moved some of these Glade Guard in there with him. Um, and I was kind of expecting to be more of a holding force, uh, but this is going to end up being more of like a straight on brawl uh, with the Empire player kind of coming in here and them coming in here and me 
facing off over here with the uh, Beastman player as he tries to rotate and flank around. Nice shots from the Hellstorm rocket batteries coming in. Um, some early damage on these large targets. More fireballs coming in. You can see they're missing the Ragnarok Spider. That's pretty embarrassing. Hellblaster Volley Gun is tearing these uh, Goblin missiles apart. Hopefully he doesn't switch that target um, to the Spider. You can see handgunners are tearing up that giant over there. Um, yeah, the Hellblaster Volley Guns have not switched targets, which is great for us. Um, but this Spider is going to take a ton of handgunner fire as Azag comes in. Oh, right here. Um, just trying to kind of protect his spider a little bit. He's going to drop a... Uh, or no, that's me. I'm going to drop <laughs> a, a little attack on there. You can see they drop the uh, health of that guy by a bit. Um, one of these handgunners is routing from my glade guard. They were my primary target. I wanted to get off, get rid of those, as many of those gunners as possible. Um, and here you can see the Beastman player is kind of posturing up um, while I take a more defensive position. Breaking off some gore herd to slow down these biggins. Biggins should win that fight. Um, but you can see I'm definitely still positioning as I was microing over here. You can see definitely a micro mistake here for getting about some of those units. Um, I'm really trying to support this main fight um, as the main lines engage here. I will slow it down so we can watch Morgur tear some stuff up. Man, Beastmen are just so cool. They are definitely one of my favorite factions in this game. Just so much fun. Such great infantry. <laughs> Jumping and swinging to this uh, tree can. They will lose pretty bad um, to... Um, well, they'll do pretty well against both of these units, but the best of gores will do some good damage due to their armor piercing. You can see already dropping an earth blood, trying to keep my, uh, my uh, spears in the fight as long as possible. Uh, you can see my... Glade Guard are firing over here at this Gore Bowl, um, and they should be switching targets to these Minotaurs soon. Um, you can see Azrae's um, in support. Some Black Orcs coming through. Um, Azag has been swarmed and shut down here by Karl Franz. Tons of buffs on him, so Azag really doesn't have a chance there. Um, that's a terrifying um, Karl Franz. 549, 66 melee defense. Oh man. Uh, but you can see these squigs um, got in here, shut down that Hellstorm rocket battery, which is really good. Had a ton of its ammo left, and you can see a lot of great swords still in the fight. Uh, my Glade Guard still here, two steam tanks untouched um, as they kind of, as both the Empire players really focus in on um, the green skin on um, Marcus Skine. Uh, so here you can see these Minotaurs with great weapons are coming in, but they're coming in against these War Dancers with Azrai Spears. Definitely not what they're going to want to be fighting. Um, these Minotaurs really should be on those Treekin because of their anti-large, and you can see here he does move them over here. So great job there. Um, but these uh, Glade Guard are going to go to town on these guys. You can see they have 35 armor, so these Glade Guard are going to do a ton of damage, and they don't have shields. Um, so these Glade Guard are a huge threat to them, and they are both clumped up here, making a nice target for my troops. Um, you can see as just more and more Earth Bloods dropping down, just trying to hold this um, side while my uh, Glade Guard try and deal with a ton of these handgunner units who are um, fighting the uh, the Greenskin and our Empire player. Um, going on over here. Yeah, there I drop a regrowth on these war dancers, so that's going to keep them in the fight. Um, and with only two models down, they're, uh, it's going to be really good. And those are a very important unit here for keeping this side locked down, because if they broke through, they'd just be able to come in here and catch these guys with their fast-moving cheap infantry. So I really needed these war dancers to uh, last. And you can see they've only lost one unit since Earth, since uh, regrowth was cast on them, and we are now routing these Minotaurs with great weapons. Um, my Treekin over here are getting focus fired by these Ungor Raiders. Great use of those guys. Um, I just really didn't have the resources to deal with them, because um, I didn't have any Wild Riders. So they basically got free reign um, of everything. I think I'm using my Orion's abilities on them um, whenever I can, uh, but with these Minotaurs with great weapons, I can't take these Glade Guard off of them. Um, here you can see my Glade Guard still firing in at uh, range units. I think they're shooting these handgunners. Um, you can see these steam tanks 
tearing stuff apart, getting some nice shots in there. Um, as uh, Carl Franz is swarmed by Biggins, this is a great use of Biggins. Carl Franz with his low armor, or actually 95, um, but Biggins with their anti-large are going to punish him, um, and these great swords are going to do decently well, um, especially when he's running away. Uh, you can see Balthazar Gelt still floating in midair, kind of on overwatch, as uh, we've kind of finished this flank, and now we're coming around, um, but I am definitely losing, I feel like, on this side. Um, I am taking down their Gorbul, but he still has this huge um, Minotaur unit here in the middle, and my War Dancers are slowly losing. Um, Chaos Spawn being spawned in the back lines, um, they are going to tear up my poor Glade Guard. It would have been much better if I would kind of moved them back here, maybe, or even here, because of their huge range, they can still attack whatever they want, um, but since I had them so close, it's going to be very difficult for them to run away from those Chaos Spawn, because they are a relatively fast unit. Um, but you can see I am pulling in my reserves over here. Um, and I see this Chaos Spawn as a huge threat. I need my Glade Guard to survive late in this game if I'm going to win. And I'm going to open fire with these two units. And them with their um, low armor are going to be a perfect target. Um, but you can see already huge damage on these guys. Tree Kin routing. Um, but Orion's doing pretty well. Um, but he will definitely lose to Morgur in a one on one fight. Uh, Morgur just has too much health regeneration. Um, Ungor Raider still in the back. You can see Hounds of Orion dropped on them. As these steam tanks try and just tear through all this cheap infantry. Um, over here you can see these squigs did a nice job of doing some damage on Carl. Um, but these great swords definitely need support in this fight. Um, they're just going to have a hard time by themselves. Uh, Carl, that's one of Carl's runs uses is just hitting um, heavily armored infantry. He's good at it because it was huge armor piercing damage. So there you can see Gehenna's Golden Hounds being dropped on these guys, doing some decent damage um, as they toss these great swords around. <laughs> some friendly squigs running through them is definitely strange. Um, and you can see it's not looking too good. Um, the Empire has kind of reformed a huge firing line here in the back. Um, we do have two very healthy steam tanks in the middle. Um, does the... Empire still have, yeah, the Empire still has Karl Franz. He's over here, like, finishing off these routing units. Um, and I don't know what happened. Maybe, I'm assuming he still has his Jade Wizard. Um, but here, another Flaming Sword of Ruin dropped on these Demigriff Knights who are going to have a great time against this Steam Tank um, with their armor piercing and anti-large damage. That's going to be the ideal target. Over here, you can see uh, Marcus Skine has gotten some uh, <laughs> maybe I used regrowth on this Biggins by accident um, but you can see he has brought in some Biggins to help and he's kind of helping to collapse these units and I finally realized what a threat these guys are and so the Chaos Spawn are almost dead um, so I switched targets here to the Ungor Raiders um, now that they weren't threatening my archers here you can see um, Orion did not do very well uh, in that fight with Morgur so I definitely had to pull him out and I threw in some of my war dancers from the opposite side to deal with them. Dropping a nice spell on the Bestigor as I just continue healing my front line here. I just need to outlast them and make sure that all of my archer units um, use all of their ammo without dying. Because uh, we're not going to win this fight otherwise. You can see here though Morgur in the middle almost untouched. Which is very bad. Um, so we have kind of finally with Marcus Gein's help we have routed the uh, Beastmen player, um, but all these units are going to come back, so definitely a threat. I have nothing to run them down with. Um, here you can see the Jade Wizard still around, which is good. Um, we'll be supporting these Steam Tanks, and he got some great swords in between the Demigriff Knights and the Steam Tank, and it looks like he's dropping another Earth Blood. so um, definitely a good job trying to get these guys off the field. Um, you can see poor Gelt can't do anything right. <laughs> he is wavering brave of the uh, of my opponents for bringing him. And you can see here, oh man, just devastating volleys from those regrouped hand gunners, regrouped outriders. Uh, we These great swords really need to be moving because um, they're just going to be shot to death there. Um, but you can see these poor swordsmen are going to get ripped apart. Um, as again, I'm just trying to finish off all the ranged units. Um, you can see I tried to chase with some of my units and uh, Especially with Morgur here, it's not going to go too well. 
even my Spellslinger of Life, somewhat out of mana at this point, um, is going to jump in. More Chaos Bond being summoned. So, um, again, just hoping my Elven Blob can outlast my opponent. Um, as you can see, uh, my Glade Guard are running out of ammo, so it's not looking too good. They are kind of my main tool in dealing with the Chaos Bond. Um, but I do, uh, being Elves, there are always Spears. Here you can see Karl Franz still around, making sure those Demigriffs get off the field. Um, and we still have a very healthy Steam Tank and a sort of healthy Steam Tank who's going to kind of just keep pushing the Empire. You can see Balance of Power is slowly shifting in our favor as Orion just chucks some Spears at Gorbel. Um, I was just trying to keep him in good health for a potential final fight against Morgur. Um, here, great use of Chaos Spawn summoning. And this is not going to be good. Orion's in the back here. Glade, Glade Guard are out of ammo, and so they're going to just mob in here. Add some bodies to try and protect those Azurai Spears. Um, and even Orion's going to turn around and take some pot shots. Um, he is exhausted from throwing his spears, though. Um, so it is a trade off. You see Morgur just like tearing apart my poor Spellslinger of Life um, as we just try and deal with these final units of Chaos Spawn. Uh, you can see using my final bits of ammo to try and kill them. My spell swinger of life. This is a good use of these guys just running around um, mobbing into range units. They're going to have a hard time dealing any damage um, to uh, spell slingers. Look at these <laughs> steam tanks just taking pot shots trying to get guilt off the field. That one shot that bright wizard. Um, these great swords are getting torn apart by kind of like a crossfire. Uh, ooh, come on, get them. Oh, just barely missing. Carl Franz is coming in here very healthy, which is a great tool for late in the game. Um, and he's going to break. And with, with the terror in there, and without a general nearby, these guys are going to kind of um, chain route. Uh, they, I don't even know if they have enough ammo left to deal with these two steam tanks. Um... Well, let's see if they actually have any healing left. Yeah, and they both... Orion is out of heals. Um, but yeah, this one has can heal uh, a, over 3,000. And this one can heal about 3,000. So a lot of health left in those two steam tanks. Um, they were kind of left to just shoot, essentially, for most of the game. You can see Karl Franz in the back mopping up some of my units. And uh, Morgur here just being mobbed by what's left of my Elven squad and Orion. So he's going to route off the field, and that's going to be that. Um, so, super fun battle. Um, and this was like the, the first day of Stubblefish playing online, so I thought he did a great job. Really awesome, fun build here from him, um, and is more likely to work in multiplayer uh, than in custom battles. Um, or then in quick battles. You can see Orion here getting a ton of kills, as always, with those constant just cycling of spells. Um, 160. You can see my, my Eternal Guard really just held. Um, you can see these war dancers with Azurai Spears, the ones that were fighting the Minotaurs with great weapons, racking up 100 kills. I'm getting two XP chevrons, definitely pulling their weight. War dancers doing okay, but you'd expect them to do a little bit better against some gore herd. Um, you can see these Glade Guard kind of just doing their job, taking out targets. A couple of these guys got decent kills, um, but they definitely all helped take off um, the Minotaurs, uh, which is a huge investment by my uh, opponent. Um, it's like 3,000 versus 2,000 here. Um, so definitely, I think probably, trading cost effectively. Um, Carl Franz here racking up a good number of kills. Two of these great swords doing okay. Um, this one full health though in the late game is impressive. Um, you can see both these steam tanks just taking a lot of attention um, and racking up a good number of kills uh, on that f on that left flank. Marcus Gein, you can see, oh man, his infantry just tanking it out. 161, 209, 200 on the Black Orcs. Um, all these guys doing amazing. Um, Azag up in the air was definitely a brave pick. Um, I think he got isolated really early. Um, but, you know, always great to see him. And you can see these squig, ho squig hoppers doing really, really well. Um, the Ragnarok spider just getting focused down. Um, you really got to walk 
your large targets forward um, when you're advancing towards an enemy line, uh, just because they'll run and they'll get ahead of your army, and that, so that just gives the opponent a couple extra volleys um, into your large targets. So it can be definitely um, devastating. Black Phillip, you can see here, uh, these best scores doing the best out of all of these troops, um, as you would expect. Uh, Morgar and the Gorbul doing okay, but these Minotaurs here just got shut down. Um, I really didn't have any um, great place for my opponent to put them, um, and the Glade Guard just shot them apart with their low armor. Um, but you can see these Ungor Raiders being indispensable, taking out my two um, Treekin, or at least putting a ton of damage on one of them. Um, the first Balthazar Guilt, the <laughs> Empire player, you can see these Hellstorm Rocket Batters getting almost no kills, which is very strange. These Outriders, um, zero kills, probably shooting at steam tanks the most, of, most of the time. Two of these handgunners getting shut down, and yeah, you can see this cheap Empire infantry just wasn't... There was really nothing for it to fight. Um, there was only biggins and greatswords. So nothing these guys are going to really like. And Balthazar getting 25 kills, which is actually impressive for him. Um, <laughs> uh, Tenotar here, Karl Franz doing pretty well. Hellblaster Volleygun getting 100 kills is impressive. Um, you can see these, these Demi Griff Knights just kind of probably underperformed a little bit. Um, but definitely like this build. It's fun. Uh, lots of moving parts. Uh, and the Bright Wizard is an interesting pick. You don't really see very often with the current meta of um, life wizards. Uh, but it, it was great to see, and it did help him uh, take out Marcus Gunn's Azag. So I think being relatively useful there. Um, anyways, great game to my opponents. And um, thanks to Marcus Gunn and Stubblefish for playing with me in this one. And hopefully we can get some more um, battles with these guys in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching, and that's that.